North Wash is a remote area of southern Utah, home to a number of narrow, quality slot canyons close to Highway 95 between Hanksville and Lake Powell. The North Wash area has several canyon complexes containing multiple slots. Main Butler is a good canyon, but should be considered more of a canyon hike with a couple of rappels, more than a technical canyoneering objective. The technical difficulties will not satisfy those canyoneers demanding a challenge. But for desert hikers, it is a nice leisurely day out. For Main Butler, it's best to park near Poison Trig. From there, you can make a loop hike, starting off east around the head of the canyon. We walked around a couple of drop-offs in the upper section. There is a fairly tight section of narrows where you'll need to squeeze through sideways. The walls will widen after a while and stay like that from then on. There are a few sections of narrows and a few good down climbs to keep some technical interest. A couple of chuck stones. Ryan might even be able to crawl under. I think it's even a bit small for Rye to go under. Ryan. Can you go across to the next truck stand, Ryan? Yeah. All the way to the next truck stand. <sighs> the canyon is rated 3A, the 3 for a rappel, and the A for being dry. It was dry for us. We took five hours for the full loop hike car to car. The Butler and West Butler Canyons of North Wash are named along a theme of tomfoolery. The theme began with the middle fork of West Butler, named Shenanigans by Tom Jones and party. Their group agreed that they may have been overly enthusiastic to descend that canyon in the short winter daylight hours. Main Butler seems to be the only canyon not to be bestowed with a tomfoolery nickname. For some reason, Maybe it's not silly to visit this canyon. We've got a little bit of narrow section to come. Oh, boo. Such an amazing change in colour and sandstone layer. And you shot up a man and kept doing the land style. Activate a party. Oh, canyon staying nice and narrow. It's, it's fun. It's a really good canyon. Mel and Ryan went down. I think I'm just going to go up and over the top. About half a mile after entering the canyon, you'll reach the edge of the Navajo sandstone and a couple of drops into the wider Kayenta section. Yeah, so there's an anchor on the right looking down canyon, it's a good one. You can go down and have a look at the Dead Man anchor and then we'll decide what we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to go off the Dead Man because there'll be less rope groove on the edge. <laughs> Do you think so with the dead man? No. Well, the, the rappel just goes straight down over the end. That was a bit of a surprise. I thought it was going to be more angled. It's a definite slot there. Three long pieces of tape get to the end. And it's a bit of a hike out through the lower canyon. Yeah, so now we're coming down the first rappel. Where I am, it would be very close to being a down climb. Okay. You'll probably the right. climb out here. So. Down to that nice little sculpted chamber there. Lovely. Then we'll turn. What's on here's underneath me. Oh, there's Ryan underneath me. And then looking down canyon, chalk stones, number of chalk stones for the next rappel anchor. <laughs> the second rappel is anchored from a chalk stone. The rappel is quite straightforward. Ryan can probably lead walk better than us. Keep Why? walking. Yeah, good. Because you have little left feet. Oh, Take fit. Oh. <laughs> Ryan's playing in the sand, getting ready for the next rappel. All the water knots are good. One of the slings is a bit sun damaged, but it's still in good enough condition. I'm happy with that. Well, I've got a 24 meter rope, Aussie style toss and go double strand. Should have reached by one or two meters. 
There's really quite a bouldery wash underneath the rappels. I'm going to go down here for half an hour or so and then make our way out through the bottom of Horseplay Canyon back to the car. About a mile below the rappel you can exit west through a fault line canyon. You'll go up and over down into Horseplay Canyon wash. Then ascend Slick Rock out onto the far side and find a trail that leads back to your car. Main Butler was completely dry for us, so it's a good objective for the colder months. The loop hike took us five hours, car to car. The Poison Trig area is a good base camp for Main Butler along with horseplay and fooling around cameras.